this here we go over the Surly Ogre. This is Roma's bike. This is here in Thailand. Bought it from Israel. Shipped over here to Thailand and I had a bit of a test for it. It's, it's, it's a very nice bike. It's definitely it's not a race bike. It's not a bike that makes you want to attack people on EPO, but it's definitely a bike where you just go, I'm just gonna I'm gonna ride over there, I'm gonna ride down that, I'm gonna ride up that, I'm gonna ride across that. You just go anywhere bike. We've got some Schwabels, some heavy, heavy, heavy duty tires. Um, Burma City's never had a flat tire on those, got a rack on there, got a little a little bear mascot, a tripod, Thompson post, and uh, just a little stock stud there. He's got some bags there. This is made in Thailand. And we've got Tori in the background burping. We've got SRAM, SRAM uh, 10 speed shifters, short little stems, some wood chipper bars there. And we've got some Shimano pedals with a uh, XT front derail work to find the SRAM, SRAM shifters. They've got an X9 crank set, uh, 36, 26, I think it was. And um, so, yeah, so it's a bike you can carry a lot of stuff on there. We've got 350 hub. And this, this bike is engineered to carry a lot of weight. Engineered to carry a lot of weight, so you could definitely shave some grams if you wanted to make it a bit more zippy. You'd put some lighter weight tires in there, but again, this bike is built as a utility bicycle, adventure bicycle, go anywhere bicycle. You could you got a lot of room for fenders in there as well. You got a lot of room for fenders in there. And uh, so, if you have any questions about the Surly Ogre? Hit me up down below. I'm trying to answer them too. You got a 42 cassette in the back, but it definitely felt pretty. It felt very stable and it felt pretty stiff. Uh, it's heavy duty and heavy weight, but it's got single speed. You can put a roll off hub in there. Very versatile bike from uh, Surly. SRAM GX 10 speed derailleur there as well. Works a treat.